Welcome to the beautiful Coletti Railway Station here in Budapest. And it's from here that tonight I start my journey east. A journey that will eventually take us to Moldova. But tonight's journey is the overnight sleeper from here in Budapest to Bucharest in Romania. Let's get inside and let's get going. I'm way too early for my journey of course but I just wanted to get to the station early and have a bit of a look around and thankfully you can walk straight onto the platforms here and I've got a nice modern train on my left and a shall we say more traditional train on my right and it's that one that I'm more interested in. And although this isn't our train this is the company that I booked with Mav Start so here's hoping we get something quite similar. Just along the side of the station and across the road there's loads of places where you can stock up on supplies including that wee spa which I might pop into in a minute but I do recommend that you get some stuff before you board because the journey is 15 hours and there might not be that much on board in the way of services I think there might be a little bar at some point but that's not going to go beyond simple snacks so it's important to get something a wee bit more substantial and the train we're on tonight is called an Easter as in I-S-T-E-R but this video will be going out around about Easter, so maybe this is my Easter special. Oh, I remember last year's Easter special. This station's got a really nice facade, but along the sides it's not quite the same story. I just hope all the construction work that's going on here is going to address this a little bit, because it could be beautiful. And there's a big mall right across from the railway station, and I'm not ashamed at all to have some mall food before my train. And it's good. Right, I've picked up my supplies and off to the station we go and only now I actually start feeling a bit nervous about this. I think as a standalone journey it's fine tonight but it's the fact that tomorrow night I'm gonna be on another train that'll take me to Moldova and it's just a long time sitting in a little railway carriage but Let's see how this first one goes. We'll get this over with first. There's nothing else we can do. From a filming point of view, overnight trains are notoriously difficult to film. So I just hope I can capture something. But the good thing is that we don't get into Bucharest until 11.19 tomorrow morning, so I'll get up quite early, that's the plan anyway, and film some of that nice scenery out the window. We employ intercity One number one, 422, 11. 11. Yes, you have a single. Okay. You come with me. Thank you. You have a single, only for you. Okay, thank you very much. Right, I'll now show you my room. Thankfully, it's been confirmed that I've got a single. When I was booking it on the website, I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be sharing with someone. But I've got my own room, which is fantastic, especially when you're filming, because you don't want to be sticking the camera in people's faces. But anyway, it is very small. But what do you think? Well, there's not going to be much of a cabin tour tonight because I'm squeezed into the corner trying to show you the rest of the cabin. But anyway, there's two bunks out. That's uh, a surprise because I thought there might just be one. But I've got a choice of upper or lower. I think I'll go with the lower bunk because then I've got a view out the window. But yeah, this little space, this is me for the next 15 hours and 9 minutes. Wish me luck. So if I open this up, we've also got a little sink and mirror in here. And a place to put your bits and bobs. And thankfully, the best thing about this cabin is that the window opens. So we've got a fairly firm mattress, a nice duvet and a plush pillow. I think this is going to be a comfortable night. And I'm actually surprised. I thought I'd have to make up the bedding myself. 
but that is something we're certainly going to have to do in tomorrow night's sleeper. There are plenty of ways to lock the cabin from the inside, but from the outside, I'm not sure if we'll be able to do that at all. So my very next door neighbour Simon has got a cabin with ensuite facilities, look at that. And this is why my cabin is so small, he's taken half my room. That's lying, are you? I'm going to check on I thought I was going mad but I've been searching for the light switch for about the last 20 minutes but it's actually on the frame of the door but there's no sign or anything, it's just a little button, it doesn't even look like a button. and the temperature button's just above the door and it's actually really effective and with the window open as well of course it's actually really nice in here, a lot nicer than a lot of hotels I've stayed in Cheers guys Of course like I said the obvious downside of filming the sleeper journey is that it's dark and there's absolutely nothing to film It's just about 9pm now and actually the next point of interest should be at about 20 past 10 Now that should be when we cross the border so there might be some checks there, I'm not sure if they'll check your passport or whatever. But then at 10.55 we should have a stop of about half an hour and I think they have to change their locomotive. So we might try and nip off the train then before we go to sleep tonight and just watch them doing that if we get the chance. But I have become very good at noting down all the important times now after things that have happened on previous trains. Right, just checking the notes here and if I'm not wrong this should be a place called Lokoshasa Sorry about the pronunciation but this is right on the border I think we're still on the Hungarian side, we've yet to actually cross the border But we appear to be stopped here for about 20 minutes or so So I've got the fleece on, got the hat on, let's go for a look outside Right, it doesn't look like I can leave the train at this point after all That'll be the next stop, this was just a passport check And it was quite a lengthy passport check at that, quite intimidating And then a guy came in with a mirror And he was having a good look around the cabin I think it was just to make sure there was nobody else smuggled under the bed or something like that They weren't looking in our bags or anything But this isn't a place I can get off the train, I think they're still in the corridor just now But we'll wait till the next stop and we'll see if we can get outside for some fresh air Okay, so we're on the move again and that's us just crossing the border from Hungary into Romania But I tell you what, the further east you travel, the more you feel like a spy Locomotive joining up now. We are in Romania. So that's us gliding through the Romanian countryside with that electric loco on now And I think it's time for bed and I'll see you at sunrise, good night We've arrived somewhere in Romania 
and it's times like this you realise you should really have your blind down. I'm not one to normally do a toilet tour, but here's the toilet tour. Yep, that's about it. We've got a view though. I did try to walk further down the train and look at the other carriages, but it doesn't appear to be possible. Got a door here, that's fine. But then this one, absolutely no way through this one. Yeah, I'm stumped with that one, sorry. I think you'd have to get off the train and then get back on again. As you can see here, we're right behind the locomotive and that gave us a very noisy and unsettled night. And you can probably tell by my eyes, I didn't sleep much. So we've got to stop here in Brashov for about 12 minutes. So it's nice to be able to get off the train and stretch the legs. We've got a locomotive change. And from here on in, the scenery should get a lot nicer. We better get back on board pretty soon. And there's a new local that's going to take us all the way into Bucharest this morning. I do not want to miss this train. My bag's still on there, so let's get going. The scenery is gorgeous with all the forests and the mountains, but I don't know which window to look out of. This one or this one? So I tend to be spending my time just darting between the both of them. Just over an hour out of Bucharest now and the scenery this morning has been absolutely beautiful and we've had the weather for it as well but been able to sit on a train and look out your window over the southern end of the Carpathian Mountains that was worth this journey alone and although I am tired this morning that sure woke me up a bit
So here we are folks, welcome to Bucharest. It's the Paris of the East, they say. One last look. Not left anything. Good to go. Thank you. I must admit it feels kind of weird arriving in a new city knowing that I don't have a hotel tonight, no. We're just back on another sleeper train and onwards we go. Only got a few hours here, so let's have a wee look around. They've got this proper old school manual departure board, but I can't see my next train on it. So I guess the first thing I should do is go to the ticket office. And also I need to pick up my ticket for the return journey as well, or else I'm gonna be stuck in Moldova. I can see lots of wee windows at the ticket office, but I'm not sure which one I go to. Well, I've been in Bucharest for like five minutes. I've already had a guy potentially trying to scam me. It's my own fault for entertaining him when he came up to me and asked, if I needed to know where the international ticket office was and I let him show me and he was asking where I was from and I said Scotland then I got my tickets and then he came back with a Scottish £5 note I don't know where he got a Scottish £5 note but then he was talking about something come with me and exchange and I was like no 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 <laughs> see you later pal but how did that guy get a Scottish £5 note he certainly didn't get it from me because I don't have any Scottish money with me so let's get away from that railway station as quickly as possible. I do have somewhere in mind to take you. It's a couple of kilometers from here and it's a building with a pretty cool claim to fame, but that's for another day in another video. So I thank you so much for watching today and here's hoping I'll see you in the next one. But I get a feeling that Bucharest is gonna be a bit crazy. Chanel.